What's up, prop mob? Gotta have horns. Much better. What's up, prop mob? I am Eduardo, and this is Monster Tutorials. Today is a really cool video, uh, especially if you're new here. Or if you're not new here, uh, it's cool for you too. But this is a challenge video. One of the things that I've done in the past is do these prop challenges. And it's just basically a set of rules, a time frame. Everybody makes a prop, they submit it, following the rules of course, and we compete to see who has the coolest prop. Okay, and it's supposed to be for fun, but it gets competitive sometimes. But today is a challenge video. So I'm going to tell you what the challenge is at the end. First, we gotta go over the details uh, and the resources where you can get your questions answered and all that good stuff. This challenge, this particular one, starts today. So when you're watching this, it's on all the way to May 15th of 2019. Okay, so today is April 14th, so I'll upload this on Tuesday. So from April 16th to May 15th is the time when the challenge goes on. You have one whole month to make your prop. Okay, after that I'm going to take one week uh, to do the judging, and after that we'll do a video to say, to reveal who the winners are. Okay, so that's the time frame. It starts today to May 15th, then seven days to to judge, which makes it like May 22nd, around that area. Don't quote me exactly on the date. Uh, and then we'll reveal the winners. All right, for you to enter, uh, this is done in my website at monstertutorials.com slash challenge. That link is below. You go to the website and you upload uh, a picture. I want three pictures this time. Okay, so remember this, three pictures. One is of your final prop. Two is one in the middle of construction and three is one of your materials okay so that we know like the rules say that it's a new prop that you made it just for this challenge and that you meet all the rules once you get to monstertutorials.com slash challenge you will see the two or three old challenges and then the new one okay so that new one will be at the top if you want to look at the entries from other people from previous challenges you can scroll down and check the other ones each challenge will have the detailed rules as in fine print at the website. Read it all the way. Uh, this should answer a lot of your questions. If your question is not answered, we have the Monster Tutorials Prop Challenge Group in Facebook. That is linked below. And here's a place where you can go and ask questions and uh, ask for help if you need to know how to glue this and it's not gluing, it's falling apart. Everybody will chip in and help you, give you some good advice. You can show off your props. It's a awesome community and I have some awesome admins that make sure that the place, the Facebook page is a friendly place to be. All right, so once you have made your prop, okay, uh, you've uploaded it and everything, then uh, you hope to win. So how do you win? Uh, in the past, I had like a public, like you guys voting for it, but this time I'm changing it up. So I'm going to have a panel of six judges, which I will pick, and uh, I'll be one of them and five other judges, and we will decide who the best, who has the best prop. Okay, and we're just going to go with creativity, how cool it is, uh, how the rules were followed, and all that stuff. Now let's talk about the prices. This is the cool part. Now, in the past, it got really competitive. And the idea of this challenge was just to have fun, to share your skills, to share your creativity with others. When I started offering gift cards and everything, it got really competitive, okay? And uh, it stopped at some point. Sometimes it wasn't that friendly, and that's not cool because most of the tutorials, as you all know, it's a friendly place for everybody. Here's where you learn how to do everything about everything. You can ask everything. Uh, it's a cool, friendly place. So, but we still have prices, so no worries. So let's start with the prices. Some of the prices were provided by sponsors, people that called me and said, hey, uh, can I send you some stuff and you can give it to the winners of the challenge? And I said, absolutely. So I have some stuff here that I'll show you in a second. The first three places, so first, second, and third, get prizes, okay? All three of them get their uh, the picture of their prop. Uh, displayed in my Instagram, my wildly famous Instagram. That's well, not really that famous, but but you get your picture there on the Instagram page. The winner will have his or her uh, prop, picture of a prop, to be our cover page or cover uh, photo for the Facebook group. And it'll stay there until the next challenge so that everybody get, gets to see how cool your prop was. I also have some stickers, which I will send uh, to the first second and third places and I'll make price packages for 
first, second, and third place. And those prices include the following. So the first thing I'm going to bundle is a, a Bitbody, which is a really cool screen printing company, uh, sent me some towels. See that? That's like a kitchen towel, but I think it's too cool to put in the kitchen. I'll put it, I would put it here in my studio. But anyway, these are screen printed. Uh, and they are made from either designs they drew themselves or photographs they actually took. Okay, so there's like really cool original work. So there'll be some of these towels. And they come in various designs. There's the crows. And the bats. Really cool, huh? So I'll bundle these for first, second and third place. I haven't decided who gets what yet, but I will bundle it up into three packages of prices. Check out that pillow. I like don't want to give this away. I want to put this in my couch right there. But I may include this in the bundle of prices. It's nice and plush and they sew their own uh, cushions, you know. Now they sent this for me. I cannot give this to you because uh, I have no idea uh, what size you are. If you win, I have no way of telling what it is. So they sent me one of their t-shirts and it's super cool. I'll be wearing it pretty soon, but check it out. That is awesome. I'm going to put that on. They also sent me this one. I love this shirt. So make sure to visit them. It's called A Bit Baddie. The, uh, the website, the link to the website is below. They have an Instagram as well. That is also below. Go check them out. They have a bunch of other designs. So go tell them, hey, thank you for sending prizes for the challenge. This is really cool. And the other sponsor sent me this pizza box right here. And these guys are called Eek and Geek. And they make buttons, stickers, all kinds of cool things. They have stickers, some really cool buttons. Check this clown series. Anyway, there's a bunch of these and I will bundle these as well for the prizes. Okay, so first, second and third place, we'll get some of these stickers and cool things that they sent me. These guys have a Facebook page, which I will link below. Go check them out. They make like really cool stuff. Thank you for sending that stuff over. Uh, I think one of these bags they made for me, so I'll keep one of the bags and the rest uh, will give away. I think I'm going to try one of these shirts on. Let's try it now. There you go. That is super cool. Okay, I know you're itching, you're dying to find out what the challenge is, so let's talk about that, okay? Uh, this one is pretty easy. The rules are pretty simple. So uh, we're going to do a mini skeleton challenge. What does that mean, okay? It's pretty simple. You're going to get one of these. Mini skeletons, and you're going to make a prop with it, okay? And the rules are, you have to use one of these small ones has to be this size, which is like six, seven inches tall. There's a link below uh, anyway, if you have trouble finding it, because I know it's not Halloween, so I found them uh, online for like four or five bucks. So go check them out. You're going to use one of these and turn it into something uh, of your choice. However, you have to use the whole skeleton, okay? You cannot be modified so much that you cannot tell that it's not a skeleton anymore. So here are some of the examples of the things I've made in this channel, actually using those same skeletons. Let's start with my, let's start with the first and most simple prop that I made, which wasn't really a prop. It was actually a Pinewood car that we used at the Pinewood Derby for my son's uh, Cub Scouts. And it's this guy right here. It wasn't the fastest car at the race, but the kids absolutely loved it. And uh, in this case, it's just a skeleton glued to a car. Most of the labor was done putting the car together. But here's one example. This one was a coffin that I got from a dollar store. It was uh, paper. Uh, I think there's tutorials for every single one of these actually, except the fairy, the one fairy, the other fairy. I'll show you in a second. This was one of those paper coffins that I covered in wood and I put some felt inside. I corpsed this guy and I turned him into a mummy. So that's another idea. You don't have to do any of these ideas. I hope you uh, are way more creative than I was. I also made this little guy right here. It's a dead fairy. And all it is, it's one of those uh, skeletons. It's been corpsed. As you can see, I added some horns right here. Oh, there's a fly on it. 
fake fly. <laughs> this is the only house where I have like rubber flies all over the house. Okay, I added some wings made out of wire. I cut his legs and repositioned them like, like we needed. And he lays flat. And he lays flat like a dead fairy, so you can put it on a shelf or something. And the last one, the most famous of my little mini skeletons, is this guy. I don't know if you'll recognize it. That's my mummified woodland fairy. Uh, which I think it turned out awesome. That also is one of those skeletons. It was corpsed. We added some wings and there is a video for that as well. So I hope that helps as inspiration to make your mini skeleton. Uh, those are just some ideas. I mean, I would make a fairy and put it in a jar maybe, a glass jar or uh, a bird cage and have some fairies in there. Maybe a diorama of uh, some skeletons. Well, you can only use one skeleton, so Maybe a diorama displaying your skeleton, maybe like a mini graveyard, right? So anyway, uh, let your imagination go wild. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, don't forget, go to the Facebook page. Okay, the link is below. It's very important. Go join it. Uh, there's a bunch of cool people there. We all help each other. We all have fun. We post funny things we find in the internet, creepy things uh, within reason. And we have awesome admins there. So go check that page, ask the questions there, ask for help there. Uh, I monitor the page every day. I'll answer any questions that the site admins cannot answer. Uh, make sure you answer the questions before submitting your photos to make sure that you stay eligible. This prop has to be new and made by you, okay? This cannot be last year's prop or a prop that you bought somewhere. All right, that's it. Go get creative and go crazy and make your mini skeleton. I'm going to start making mine and I'll show you mine in a couple weeks. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it makes it more available to other people so that we can have tons of people entering the challenge. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you can find out who the winners are and how we make all these props. All right, I'm Eduardo. This is Mosse Tutorials. You, me, everybody around here. We are the Prop Mob. I'll see you next time.